Today I've got another problem from TBO's problem solving booklet, a problem booklet designed for students who are looking to study maths at either Oxford or Cambridge and they're preparing for their interviews. This problem we want to determine the function f of x which satisfies the functional equation x squared times f of x plus f of 1 minus x equals 2x minus x to the 4. Now if I was presented with this problem, I may have many questions that I'd like to, to ask just to maybe clarify what's being asked of me as the interview, uh, as the interviewee, sorry. Um, well, what exactly is a functional equation, maybe? What exactly can I assume about f? Is it differentiable, continuous, or can we not make these assumptions? And these are all valid questions to maybe ask. I'm just going to clarify the first one. What do we mean by a functional equation? Well, it's just an equation that involves well, a function, but that function needn't just be defined explicitly. In this case, it's definitely not because we have f of x and we also have f of one minus x in here. So I can't just rearrange this to make f of x the subject because the other side will have this term in. Hmm. So what would you do in an interview? How would you approach such a problem? Well, one thing you can do with almost any interview problem, if you're not really sure how to approach it, is just play around with it. So in this case, it's quite easy to do. Play around with this by substituting in some values of x. You can substitute x is 0, x is 1 maybe. Those seems like nice numbers to plug in. Maybe x is 2, maybe some other numbers and kind of see what happens. Um, but I'm actually not going to do that here just because experimentation is interesting, but I've already solved this problem and I kind of want to dive straight into the solution. But I encourage you to pause the video and do experiment with this and see if you can find any interesting patterns. But let's dive into the solution here. What I'm going to do is replace the x's in here with 1 minus x. Seems a bit random, but it's definitely valid because this is true for all values of x. So it's true in particular if I swap x for something else. So if I swap all the x's for 1 minus x, this equation should still be true. Now, what motivates me to do that? Why, why should I just swap the x's for 1 minus x? Well, the reason is because if I swap this x for 1 minus x, well, it just makes this 1 minus x. But if I swap this x for 1 minus x, 1 minus 1 minus x, it's just x. And so this is quite cool. It kind of swaps the x's and the 1 minus x's. So let's do that. We get 1 minus x squared times f of 1 minus x plus f of x equals 2 lots of 1 minus x minus 1 minus x to the 4, like so. This is pretty cool. And then maybe what you realize is this is just another equation with f of x and f of 1 minus x in. And at the start, we had an equation with f of x and f of 1 minus x in. This is just a simultaneous equation problem. We can replace this f of 1 minus x here with, well, just from rearranging this first equation. So we have 1 minus x squared multiplied by capital F of 1 minus x, which from the first equation is simply going to be 2x minus x to the 4, uh, minus x squared f of x. And that's going to equal 2 lots of 1 minus x, minus 1 minus x to the 4, like so. And the reason this is really nice is now we have an equation with just f of x in it. Uh, oh, sorry, I forgot to add on the f of x here. Oops. Well, that's supposed to be on the left-hand side. Because all that's in this equation here is just x's and f of x's. So in theory, now all we have to do is expand this, simplify, and make f of x the subject. Um, and I'm going to kind of do that in a, in a few steps here. So if I look at the f of x on the left side, obviously there's one lot of f of x there. But then I've also got to subtract x squared lots of 1 minus x squared from that. And then what else do I have? Well, I just have 1 minus x squared times 2x minus x4. And this is going to equal 2 lots of 1 minus x minus 1 minus x to the 4. And so now we just do some simple rearranging, and we can just make f of x the subject. So this is going to be 2 lots of 1 minus x minus 1 minus x to the 4 minus this guy, which is minus 2x minus x to the 4 times 1 minus x squared. And then all of this divided by this messy term here. So 1 minus x squared times 1 minus x squared, like so. And now potentially there's room for simplification. In fact, there, well, there may be, there may not be, I'm not too sure. You can maybe do the difference of two squares on the bottom here 
and there could be some nice simplification, but I'm actually not too interested in that. That's pretty trivial, not super exciting. But that's how we solve this problem. We make this really nice observation that f of x and f of 1 minus x are closely related, but if I just swap the x with 1 minus x. And you actually see this technique used quite a lot, especially, for example, when you're doing integration to make a really nice u substitution to show that one integral is the same as another integral. Anyway, I'll leave this video here for the uh, for today. Um, thank you for watching. If you are new to the channel, please do give this video a like and do subscribe. I have loads of videos like this where I go through interesting, challenging problems which you may potentially see something or something of the form in an Oxford or Cambridge maths interview. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Have a great day.